Hey guys, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up your Oculus Rift for room scale and I'm going to be going over all of the cable extenders I bought and things to keep in mind when setting this up. One thing I just want to get out of the way is that Oculus officially recommends a three sensor setup. You can buy an extra sensor on their website. One comes with a Rift, one comes with Touch. Um, but in this video I'm only using two cameras and I find it actually doesn't make that big of a difference. My cameras are set about 16 feet apart and my play space is roughly 8 by 12. It's a little different than that. It's a kind of a bit of an L shape actually, but for the most part I'd say that it's an 8 by 12 room and I get tracking pretty much everywhere. There's a few spots like crawling on the ground in weird spots and like a couple corners that are kind of iffy but you'll see that in the video basically. I think for most people two sensors is going to be fine but if you're setting up with three sensors this video will still apply to you. It's not going to be that much different. Um, everything I go over in this video is going to be pretty much the same whether you have two cameras or three cameras. So with that out of the way let's get started. So real quick, I'm just going to list off all the items I used in my setup, and then I'm going to go over um, each one and what I'm using them for and things to keep in mind, uh, different adapters that you might need to buy and things like that. So to start off, I have two of the Cable Matters USB 3.0 10-foot extenders, one Cable Matters 10-foot HDMI extender. Once I get a third sensor, I'm going to be using a second one of these, but for right now I just have one of the Cable Matters 16.4 foot extenders. And finally I'm using a small external power supply thing that just uh, basically just plugs into the USB 3.0 extender and plugs into the wall. Um, I'm not sure what brand mine specifically is, but there is a compatible one that I've linked below. By the way, all of the cables will be linked below if you want to purchase them for yourself. I can say that for me, uh, everything has worked out completely fine. I haven't had any issues, but I can't guarantee that it'll work for every machine. All right, so just to show you guys how everything is set up, I've got uh, my Rift here obviously connected to my 10-foot HDMI extender and my 10-foot USB 3 extender. The HDMI is just plugged straight into my graphics card, a GTX 970 back there, and the USB 3 is just plugged straight into my motherboard. Um, my first camera doesn't have any extenders on it. It's just chilling right here, close to my computer. My second camera, I have a 16.4 foot USB 3, goes behind my desk, behind all these dressers, and hooks up to a 10 foot USB 3 extender. Because I plugged in one extender into another one that was so long, this is actually going to require more power, another power source. So I just plugged uh, this in here, which is plugged into the wall, which fits perfectly. And then we follow the wires a little bit more. And this is where I have my second camera set up. If I was going to have a third uh, camera set up, it would likely be somewhere in this corner, maybe. Uh, probably ideally on some sort of wall mount, maybe on either side of the door. Um, or I could potentially place it there, uh, set up some, like a ladder or something there, near the closet door, I don't know, somewhere, or possibly right here. Um, so that's where I'd set up the third camera. Now, some people have had issues um, using HDMI extenders on the Rift. Sometimes only sound comes through or they get weird um, video glitches. So I found that mine actually works perfectly fine just using the HDMI extender by itself. Uh, but if you're having issues, I would recommend uh, checking out, again, this will be in the description as well, but an HDMI female to DVI male adapter. Obviously, if you have uh, like two monitors plugged into your comp computer that are both using DVI, this is something that you want to keep in mind, you know, so you have you might want to buy some other adapters so you can make sure everything plugs in but uh, some people have said that that works I actually tried this on my own machine and uh, th it actually made a lot of like weird red and uh, green sparkles on the screen when I tried using that so for me it didn't work but other people online have said that it works for them uh, I'm using a GTX 970 by the way for my uh, video card and with the HDMI extender worked perfectly fine, but again, uh, if you think 
you might have issues or just want to self repair it's it's like a dollar thirty five to buy one of these adapters you might have one at your house anyways but yeah they're dirt cheap and it could save you some time also if that doesn't work um, I, I'm not sure if this has been confirmed to work with the Rift but I, I know some people have used it for the Vive and it's worked uh, you could also think about getting an HDMI to display port adapter again a link in the description for everything uh, just different types of adapters and things like that might help fix the video signal if you're having issues but like I said I didn't have any problems with this but it's just something to keep in mind because everyone has different motherboards and graphics cards and things like that so not everyone's the same so before we get started with the software and setting everything up in there uh, I just wanted to show you normally right here is a pretty big uh, dresser mirror and I've just thrown a blanket over this basically it's a good idea to cover up any sort of reflective surfaces so it doesn't interfere with any of the sensors tracking um, and so you just get a really nice room scale experience without any bugs. So the next thing you want to do is open up Oculus Home and click on the little gear in the top right and from there click settings. On that page you want to click devices and then towards the middle right click configure rift. Now if this is your first time setting up an Oculus Rift then you're going to want to run the full setup. Otherwise if you've already set up your rift and sensors before for the most part then you want to click uh, reset sensor tracking so the next steps are pretty easy to follow um, but it is going to look like you're getting an error when you set up opposing sensors uh, but just continue through that and you'll be fine it's pretty simple to map out your bounds for guardian just using the touch controller and the trigger and uh, everything from this point is pretty easy all right, so I'm just gonna test the limits of the tracking here and see how well it holds up. Um, this is where I kind of start to run into my guardian system. And oop, it's pretty good. Here, well here, just walking along the bounds of my guardian system. And yeah, let me, let me get on the floor and just, oops, <laughs> tearing the cables around here, but yeah, I mean, everything seems to work really, oop, there I'm getting a little bit of, but other than that, I think I will go for the third sensor for the completeness of it to get, so I can just completely like go anywhere I want in my room, but I mean, so far this is definitely not bad. It seems to work pretty well, and I would definitely call this a room scale experience, but it's about 16 feet apart, and uh, I'll end up measuring this total play space too, so, and uh, put it in the description or on the screen so you guys know. And just so you guys can see, what Oculus says is the official tracking area for two sensors in 360 setup and three sensors in a room scale setup. I'm going to be showing you some diagrams by them on the screen. Um, I found mine to be a little bit better than what they said, uh, but try it out for yourself and let me know how it works for you. If you guys want to see more VR videos, more gaming videos and tech videos, please subscribe and hit the like button. It means a lot and I really want to try and grow this channel. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.